isn't there something slightly at odds with what you're saying with what you've done in last year's biggest selling record, Blurred Lines? Well, what would that be? Well, I mean, you know, who wrote I Know You Want It? Was that, was that you? Was yeah, that right? sure. That was very criticised by many people who felt it. It was. It, it, it literally blurred the lines between a woman's right to say no and a man forcing I, himself. I don't realise, I don't know where the forcing himself and a woman's right to say no was ever addressed in that song. I know you want it. Isn't, isn't that it? That's a classic. man, is that a man forcing himself on you? Isn't it, isn't it cajoling a woman? Let me ask you a question. Women sing that song. So are women singing that to other women? Maybe they just like the song. But I mean, you know, wait, but, but the but, line. But wait, the line. What does the line suggest? I know you want it. Which, um, which is, a, which is a, a cajoling kind of is thing. It, is say, it sexually it? suggestive when a car salesman says to a person who's trying to buy a car, I know you want it? Uh, I'm no, asking you. But it's a phrase that's often used in a sexual context, isn't it? Okay, cool. People. I mean, but, so does that make it off limits for me to use it in a song, especially when the overall arching context is that there are good women who also have bad thoughts, so good women can't have sexual thoughts? But the context... Was, I'm asking you. You're asking, what's the question you're asking me? That, that you, Can good women have sexual thoughts? Well, of, of course. Um, but, so, with, with respect... But I, wait, wait, wait. So let me answer. If a, if a good woman can have sexual thoughts, is it wrong for a man to have a, a correct guess that a woman might want something? Well, I think you have to put this in the context. And if she wants it, does song. that mean that he's going to take it? I think you have to put this in the context of the song and of the video. Oh, okay. Which, as you know, was also very controversial. Okay. And, you know, I mean, you, you stood there with women. You know I'm enjoying this, right? Yeah. No, I, well, good. I mean, so am I. I mean, okay. okay. Look, you, you were standing there with women cavorting around you with no clothes on. Right. That, there was a power dynamic going on there, wasn't there? These women are there to please you. Oh, that would, they were? Were they not? Did I touch them sexually? You don't need to. They were, they were there with their boobs out. Oh, okay. So let me ask you something. So in a high fashion magazine, when women have their boobs out, is there something sexual there too? It wasn't a high fashion magazine. It was, oh. it was a music video. Oh, well, if you ask the director who's a female who wrote it, she was, she was, she was um, inspired by editorials by high fashion magazines where women do have their boobs out. I don't recall me ever making a sexual gesture to any woman. In fact, I think the only person that I really touched in, the, in, a, in, a, in a close way was a, was a sheep. Yeah, but um, look, I mean, y if you say there's nothing wrong with that line... You've got to respond, you've gotta respond to that. Mean, no, no, well, no, yeah, I'm not here to respond. I'm here to ask a question. Okay, cool. People are interested in what you say. Now. Okay, cool. So come on. What, what did I know you want it mean? Then? What did I know you want it meant? It meant that she's a good girl... And even good girls have bad thoughts, hence the term blurred lines. So she would take it out on the dance floor. Never once did I say in there anything sexual to a woman. But it also had the line. I don't know whether you wrote but, this one or not. Now let me I'll ask you. Now you listen. something big enough to tear your ass in two. That was I mean, a, that, is, that is a vile line, isn't it? Yeah, that was what T.I. wrote. But do, so, do, so do you disown I did not that write. Line? I didn't. I didn't write that. Do you disown I, that line? I, I'm not disowning the line. I didn't write it, sir. T.I. wrote that. That was T.I.'s verse. So when you sit down with T.I., Clifford Harris, you've got to ask him what he thought. But me, I wrote, I know you want it. I can clearly, clearly tell you what that is, right? Food. Do you like food? Yeah. So when you're hungry, and I can tell you're hungry, and I say, I know you want it, does that mean I'm going to rape you? Well, you know, don't don't answer that, the question. That, you got to be that's fair. A, that's a clever. That's but you, a clever way of I'm not. It, I'm not trying to be. I'm, I'm not trying to be. No, no, it wasn't. Th this is a. This the is a song, song is about dancing, about, dancing. About a man talking to a woman about sex. It's a. First of all, did I say it was a man? 